so hello everyone welcome to this another video of this channel i am abhishek verma and today we are going to learn how to install java 21 in our windows machine so today's video is going to be helpful for those who are going to install java in their windows machine for the first time or they are already having some java in their machine and they just want to upgrade it to the latest version now in case if you are going want to install it in the Mac or Linux then also the steps are going to be almost similar and not much different. So without wasting any more time let's directly get started and I hope that you are already following my channel. So if you wish to learn Spring Boot or Java or any other concept related to Java then you can simply subscribe to it for free of cost. So first of all let's verify do we have Java in our machine or not. So we will go here and we will go to this command prompt. Now here you can see we will just type out as Java hyphen version. So if I say something like this, you see that currently Java 17 is already installed in my machine. So now my goal is to install Java 21 also and make it as the default version. Now it's not mandatory that for that you remove Java 17 from your system. If you wish, you can have multiple Java versions also in your system. Also, let's check out for this Java C and here also you see it is pointing on to Java 17. So that means currently in my machine, I'm having Java 17 and now I wish to install Java 21. So what I'll do is I'll go here and I will simply search for Java 21, something like this. So you see when I search for this, it will take me here something like this and also in case let's say in future some other version is going to come so then also you just need to repeat these steps only so you need to come to this oracle's website which is going to be something like technologies download and here you will see something like this so now you see that it says that latest one is java 23 before that we have java 21 and there are earlier versions also available so this is java 23 but we are not going to install this one why we are not going to install this one is because this is not a long term support version. So always remember that until unless you want to test something very very specific related to a new feature, always install and work with the latest version only. Latest long term support version only. I mean there is no fun of changing the version after every 6 months. So here I'll go to this JDK21 because this one is for the long term support here. And now you can tell me in the comments also that before Java 21, which other versions were the long term support. So we'll go here and you can select which machine is yours. So mine is Windows. I'll go. And here you see this is for 64 installer. So I'll go to this and I'll click. So now it has started downloading. So in the meantime, it gets downloaded. Let me come down. And here, let's say if you want to install Java 17, because before Java 21, Java 17, Java 11 and Java 8. These also were the long term support version. And hence currently in my machine I was having Java 17. So let's say you want to install these version due to some reasons. So then also it is going to be the same, same steps. You come to Java 17 then you go to this windows and go for this x64 installer. Don't go for other options this is the easiest one. Then same for this Java 11 also you can do something in the same scenario windows x64 installer then go to java 8 also go to windows and here you see almost four options but you go to this x64 installer something like this okay so hence currently we have done this and in future let's say some other java version is going to come for the long term support then also the same step needs to be followed so i guess this has been downloaded so let's go to this particular downloads folder and here you can see i'm having the exe file with me so I'll just double click on this and it will show me some option like this. So I'll say yes and let's see what comes up next. So it says me welcome to the installation wizard for Java SE development kit 21.0.5. So after point zero point that doesn't matter. This Java 21 is important for you. If it's showing something like six or seven, it's just some add on has been added. Yeah. So let's say next and it will be going to this particular folder. So in the C drive program files Java. So let me first of all show you here. So C drive and here we go to as program files. I'm already having a Java folder because I was also having Java 17. In case you don't have never used Java till now, then this Java folder will be created automatically. So you click there, you see JDK 17 is already there and now it is going to install JDK 
21 also so i'll just say next here there is no need to change to some other folder i mean this is a standard practice and here we won't say next steps because we don't want any documentation or tutorials that you can easily get from this particular channel if you are going to subscribe it and let's say close so yeah now it's done so now in my machine i'm having two versions jdk 17 as well as jdk 21 with me so now let me again go here and let me just close and restart because sometimes whenever you are doing something like this this command prompt doesn't get updated so let me just make the screen size smaller and yeah now let's see so what is the java version which one is getting pointed so here you go so now it automatically says java version 21 so automatically it has picked the latest version here that is 21 and not the previous one and here also let me say java c hyphen version something like this so here also you see it has taken the latest one so nowadays you don't need to set up the environment variables and all other things because earlier i remember when even i used to install and download so i need to do all these stuffs like setting the environment variables separately but nowadays you don't need to do that much but still let's say that due to some reason even after doing this you are not getting these options that what is your java version what is your java c or something like this so then what needs to be done so in that case what we will do is we'll go here and here we will say edit system variables so you will select this option edit the system environment variables so let's go here let's go to environment variables and here what we can do is we'll need to set this java home so currently also this java underscore underscore home is to jdk 17 yeah but many times let's say that later on you are making usage of apache maven also so for apache maven apache tomcat or something else if you have installed in your machine then that is going to select jdk 17 and not jdk 21 so what i want is that here also it should be selecting jdk 21 only so here see this is the path so what we will do is we'll come here to jdk 21 and we will just simply select this so copy and i will go here and i'll double click on this and i change it to as 21 so now this is 21 so now this environment variable also i have set and this is sometimes a general environment variables many times whenever you install any ide or something or let's say as i mentioned tomcat or jenkins also then they are going to make usage of this java underscore home so that happens that already in your command prompt it is showing 21 but here java home is set to some other variable some other version or java underscore home is not even there then you can just simply create a new one in case it is not available so this is one thing which you need to do beside this there is one more thing that is you need to go to this path sometimes here and here also you need to change now here the thing is here this is the one so after the slash so we'll go here and what i'm going to do is that now see what will happen if i will just keep on changing it again and again so one simple thing which i can do is i will go here and i will again select the whole thing so i will be selecting something like this i'll go here and what i can do is i can just update it that is one option which you can do otherwise what you can do is if you don't want to do it again and again then you can just make usage of that java home variable so now this is one option where you are changing the whole path itself to jdk 21 or jdk 17 or something like this another option which you can do is that since you have already set the java home so here that is something like this so we will just say percentage percentage and here i will say java underscore home so i will do like this now what happens is that moment anytime in future i will change java home automatically it will get updated here also that is something the same variable which we use in our java also in our code so same way we are making usage of variable here and the symbol will look like this percentage java underscore home so i will just say okay here so now you see that we have updated it to java something like this okay so this has been done and yeah that's it so i hope we have done everything so we have updated java home and that and let me just say okay let me just say okay here also now let's go here and let me close and just refresh once again so already it was showing me the right answer but now also it should be showing me the correct thing only 
so here you see that it is showing me java 21 has been installed if i again say as java c hyphen version then also it is showing me java this and let me try it for that particular java home i hope this is the way to try that yeah so okay not this one what i need to do is here also i need to say percentage percentage now it is going to show me so now you see that when you are echoing java home then also it is showing you jdk 21 so many times it is important so even after your java version is set here to 21 do this also so i hope you find this interesting and in the same way you can upgrade to any other version you can install any other java version also steps are going to remain same so happy learning and if you found it interesting don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks everyone